Hello everyone, peace of the Lord Jesus Christ with everybody. Uh, you know, this is a video answering a Muslim in my page. As you see, when we talk to Muslims, you know, uh, if a Muslim asks me about potato, I will not answer him about tomato as they do. You know, we ask an, uh, someone, he said he want to debate me and he want to challenge me. And when he make a video, he's talking about PowerPoint. And he's talking about if you read a verse, you will make a lot of money. But he never answered me. Now let us see a comment of a Muslim and don't get upset from Muslim comments because this is how they are you know those are my people I know them and this is how low they are you know he's saying what a retard investigate Islam you are talking to yourself yeah I agree with you as long as I'm talking to Muslims I'm talking to myself you know if you if you to, to say if you have a dog and you say to your dog sit down if you have a cat you say to your cat sit down if you have a donkey you say to your donkey stop the donkey will stop but if you say that to a Muslim he's going to understand I challenge you to prove it so it's a lot easier to talk to animals from talking to Muslims so I agree with you this one I'm talking to myself as long as I'm talking to Muslims but let me tell you something I'm not talking to Muslims even now maybe I'm responding to your question but I don't think even you are going to uh, to see it because you are a Muslim you know Muslims don't hear don't see you will come in here and you will make another foolish stupid post and you will leave but this is my answer for a Christian to show them how we can answer and we have a faith we are strong by the Lord not like you you cannot answer us we can answer you easy so he said your video struggled to get 100 view by the way first there's a stop in here you know you see how how how, how low they are uh, I have no struggle to get uh, a view and who care about how many uh, uh, view I get is that what are you worried about you know this is my video this is my video I posted like two hours ago and I have 71 view make a video and let us see in two hours how many they will come and watch it for you your majesty and uh, you know this is very clear uh, what you said that you are counting not me so you are aware of people counting of people coming in here and uh, uh, you know watching my video and you are scared you know I don't count really you count you know when I ask people to go and uh, watch videos who they are have knowledge you know sometimes like you see I made a video about doctor and there is uh, 2,000 hits in two days three days but I have a lot more important videos and I don't have that much hit in them so we want people to share the knowledge not only to talk about politics like uh, if we go to your page I don't know what we will see uh, we will see stupid videos about nothing you know I am in here I am proving how filthy is your religion make a video let us see how much uh, how many hits you can get I don't see any video for you what about you make a video and you debate me what about you accept to debate me do you accept I challenge you if you accept post your name in here make a name in pal talk and I will invite you I will make a room and I will record the room but I know you will not do because you are the same as this guy and all of you you are from the same dust you know what I mean let us see here's a question he said in Matthew by the way read in Matthew 20, 25 1 it says you will get virgins in the heaven I'm not going to speak for long about it but I advise everybody to go to Matthew 25 and just to show how Muslims they are liars and they are low-class nation this is have nothing to do with virgins as reality and there's no version in there this is about it, it is, it's called the purple it's an example a story to teach and it's talking about no sex in there you will not see any any sex not about real women it's about all of us the virgins represent the, the mankind the wise ones and the full one the one who is getting ready for the Lord when he come and their lamps is full of oil you will see it's talking about those virgins who their lamps they went out to meet the uh, uh, the Lord but they did not take you know oil with them so 
five of them they took oil and other five did not take any oil the five who you know the five who took oil they are the wise one because you know what the benefit of your lamp if you have no oil this is something very stupid to do and what the oil in here mean it is your life what you did in your life because the Lord he said you know not everyone he say Lord Lord will enter my kingdom it is the one who say and do my will so you do his will you enter the kingdom of flood of the Lord and the oil in here is doing the will of the Lord are you ready so don't say I am a Christian I will be saved because I have the lamp with me your lamp is empty don't say you are a Christian where is your where is your oil what you did in your life did you save anyone did you did you invite anyone to Christ did you save any life did you feed the poor did you do mercy did you do did you, did you? so this is all your fruit in the judgment day the Lord he will ask you why your lamp is empty where where is your fruit uh, if you say I have no fruit he will say you read and then the mid of the night cry was heard which means the judgment day and all of them they went out to meet him those who they have no oil in their uh, 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 lamp you know it's mid, mid of the night in the darkness the judgment day, the day it's it's a day of darkness so give us some oil we cannot go out without oil which means we are going to meet the, the, the Lord without anything they feel ashamed of themselves how so they ask somebody else the ones who have oil with them can you can we borrow from you can you can we borrow some oil from you you cannot borrow deeds if your dad he was a good man and he is going you know doing good deeds he was a good Christian he is inviting people to Christ he is spreading the Lord word uh, he is doing merciful things you can't say my dad was a good guy so the Lord he will forgive me and he will be merciful on me because of my dad you know this is the oil of your dad not your oil so when he asks your dad your dad he cannot give you his deeds because it's belong to him it's not up to you and not up to him even so they will say to them no this is uh, hardly is enough for us to enter to enter what to enter the kingdom of God so then they will go to the Lord and they will scream saying to him Lord Lord open to us let us go inside the heaven then he will say to them you know what I assure you assure you that's I say I to you I don't know you I don't know you why because they have no good fruit in their life show me your fruit I will tell you who you are so he's saying at the end watch therefore for you know neither the day neither the hour the judgment day nobody know when it's going to come so get ready and don't go out you know with your lamps is out of uh, oil some people they think they will live forever and they will say you know what when I get old I'm going to do good things when I get old I will be a good guy when I get old I will be a good woman you know you do not guarantee if you are going to live not only tomorrow if you will live five minutes from now are you ready this is the question so in here because we do not know not when the judgment day and not when me you know me and you we will die we will not live forever so are you ready for that time for that second for that moment and when you stand in the front of the Lord what you will say to him I have no fruits then he will say to you the following you know what I assure you I say to you I do not know you so don't think you are a Christian you will be saved by saying I am a Christian by calling yourself Christian by calling yourself George by wearing a cross it doesn't make you Christian it does not uh, even if you are a bishop you know you see someone he is a bishop in a church show me your fruit how many people accepted Jesus Christ through you did any how many people you saved how many life how many poor you feel so the Lord he will say even to that bishop I don't know you so what if you are a bishop I don't see any fruit in your hand don't come to me and you have no fruit and get ready the judgment day can be coming any time when the son of the man is coming nobody knows when the time is going to be and the one he is a fool Lord have no mercy for him and those are the Muslims guaranteed 
and I advise you Mr. Uh, Arab to go and see my other video about your Imam did that saying that uh, uh, Muhammad is a fool man go and see this video this is the name and you will see the stupid did that saying that your prophet is a fool by mentioning a verse from the Bible as you as you did yourself you know and I showed everybody the verse in there that it's talking about prophets who they fool themselves and the one they are think they are prophet and they are hypocrite and they are liars and they are not a real you know worshiper and those people they will go to hell so your prophet is one of them and thank you very much for proving to me that every Muslim is a fool until he proved the opposite God bless you all Jesus is Lord Islam is false I mean